With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here is a question. A block of mass M is on an inclined plane of angle theta. The coefficient of friction between the block and the plane is mu and tan theta is greater than mu. The block is held stationary by applying a force P parallel to the plane. The direction of the force pointing up the plane is taken to be positive as P is varied from P1 is equal to mg sin theta minus mu cos theta to P2 is equal to mg sin theta plus mu cos theta. The frictional force versus P graph will look like. In this question, we have to find uh, the graph between F and P. So, uh, first of all, uh, we draw a diagram to understand it. First of all, we uh, draw the inclined plane. This is an inclined plane having an angle theta. And here is a block of mass M, right? And um, downward force is a mg. And uh, we resolve the mg force into two components. In this direction is mg sine theta. And in this direction, this is mg. cos theta and upward force is a normal force and the P force which is parallel to the inclined plane and here is a frictional force in this direction. So if the block is moving downwards the friction force is moving in this direction so uh, if we do not apply the p force means the block will slide and at equilibrium position we know that with the help of fpd we write the equations at equilibrium p plus f is equals to mg sin theta from here we can find the value of f frictional force which is equals to mg sin theta minus p this is first equation now again we draw a diagram to understand the p2 force like this is again inclined plane And here is a block of mass M. In this, in this, again, it is uh, Mg resolved into two components like Mg sine theta and Mg cos theta. Right? And the, in this diagram, the frictional force is downward direction. Because the why the frictional force is downward direction? Because we increase the force P. We increase the force P. If we increase the force P, but the frictional force will be constant, right? The frictional force will be constant. The P is very much greater than F. So, in this case, the block will move upward, right? That's why the frictional force is in downward direction. Now, here we write the equations from FPD. There is P is equals to mg sine theta plus frictional force. From this equation, we can easily find the frictional force which is equals to P minus mg 
sin theta. This is second equation. And uh, from first, from first equation and second equation, we conclude that if we increase p, if we increase the force, then frictional force will decrease linearly. Right? Now, check the graph. According to our explanation, our first graph is a correct graph. In this graph, if we increase forces in x axis, if we increase force, the frictional force will decrease linearly, right? And uh, I hope you understand the explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.